Rams, it's Zaya here. As Thanksgiving break is creeping up on us, I hope that you hardworking students are looking forward to a long-awaited, well-deserved break from classes. However, before break, don't forget to sign up for events happening this week. Listed on Ram Connect, we have a gathering of brothers brought to you by the Lawrence Downey Multicultural Center, which will be on November 17th from 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. On Wednesday, November 18th, the Office of Sustainability is hosting a sustainability research and practice seminar from 12 o'clock p.m. to 12.50 p.m. Also on Wednesday the 18th, the Off-Campus and Commuter Service is hosting Song Association Game Night from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you are interested in any of these events, head over to Ram Connect to, to sign up or to find emails to send in any questions. All these events are a great way to stay distracted, to keep your mind off of a busy schoolwork or your class schedule or work while you're learning something new. So head over to Ram Connect, guys. You won't regret signing up and making the most out of your experience here at WCU. This week, we have Kyle with sports, we have Dominique with weather, and Cecilia with org highlight, and Courtney with entertainment minutes. Kyle, take it away. Hey Rams, hope you all are having a fantastic week so far. My name is Kyle, also known as a Sad Eagles fan, and I'm bringing you this week's sports news. A few weeks removed from playing a legitimate game, the Philadelphia Eagles were looking to sweep the season series against the New York Giants this past Sunday at MetLife Stadium. The first time the two squads matched up, the Birds clawed their way to a victory, winning by only one score. The G-Men were eyeing up their revenge, coming off a win against the Washington football team, 23-20. The Eagles were able to get to opposing quarterback Daniel Jones frequently, sacking him three times total in the game. In addition, Eagles running back Boston Scott rushed for a 56-yard touchdown. Now other than that, this Eagles team played very uninspired, lacking pure conviction and eventually conceding by a score of 27-17. to For me, Coach Doug Peterson's play calling remains a looming question mark over the entire offense. If he could find some creativity and keep opposing defenses on their toes, I do believe this team can bounce back. But for now, I'm not quite sure where they go after this. They remain in the lead of the division at 3-5-1, but in terms of hope for the rest of the season, there isn't much right now from the Philly faithful. They still have NFL heavyweights, Green Bay, New Orleans, and Seattle left on their schedule. Looking ahead, the Eagles face the Cleveland Browns next Sunday. Here's to hoping the squad can rev the engines and go on a season-changing run. And that's all I have for you today, Rams. Remember to maintain your healthy habits this week, like washing hands often, wearing a mask, and social distancing when necessary. Other than that, have a splendid rest of your week. Peace. I'm Dominic Mexico with your WC Weekly Weather Report. I hope everyone had a nice warm weekend and I'll be this week's weather reporter. So let's get into this week's weather. Temperatures will be mostly in the 50s throughout the week. Tuesday it will be 48 degrees with a low of 30. Wednesday it will be 46 degrees with a low of 32. Thursday with 53 degrees with a low of 35. Friday 58 degrees with a low of 29. Saturday 55 degrees with a low of 33. Sunday, 53 degrees with a low of 29, and Monday, 57 degrees with a low of 28. So throughout the week, it's going to be pretty warm, but at night will be chilly. I'm Donnie Neck, coach your WC Weekly Weather Report, and until next time, I hope to see you guys soon. Have a nice week. Bye. Hello and welcome to Organization Highway. I'm your host, Cecilia Tabor, and today we spotlight the Westchester University Swing Dance Club. The Swing Dance Club is an organization at Westchester University that specializes in swing dancing. You can check out the club's past performances on their YouTube page at WCU Swing Dance Club. In past years, the club practiced performing for in-person events, so I spoke to Dorothy Luby about how the club has adapted this year and what it's like to be involved in the program. Hi, my name is Dorothy Luby and I am the Vice President of the Swing Dance Club. So since Zoom University has started and we've done virtual learning, our social dance has really come to a halt. Being virtually 
really messes with the whole partner idea of swing dance. So we've shifted our focus to solo jazz and working on the footwork of partner dances. So far, we have done Charleston, East Coast, West Coast, and some Lindy. And these lessons have really been fun. It's really been great to get to go to the foundations of swing dance. To get involved in Westchester University Swing Dance Club, you can go to Ram Connect. That's the easiest way to get the Zoom link and get our updates and notifications about when we're meeting. Again, it's every other Wednesday, so it can get a little confusing, but we do have one social coming up in December. It's a de-stress fest, and it should be super fun. I'm excited for it. It should be a, game, a nice night of games like Among Us, which I think we all like. My favorite part about being a part of the Swing Dance Club is the people. The people are so sweet and I love spending time with them. When we were on campus, it was great to get out of my dorm and go get some exercise and meet some new people. Plus, when you're with a partner and you both are tripling over each other, it's a super great time to laugh and have fun. I hope you guys come see us and come join our Swing Dance Club. Thank you so much, Dorothy, for sharing with me all about WCU's Swing Dance Club. Make sure to check out Ram Connect for swing dance meetings, as well as many other opportunities. That's all for this week, and don't forget to message WCU Weekly's Instagram page or contact me at ct950208 at wcupa.edu for a spotlight in our segment. I'm Cecilia Tabor, and thank you for joining me for Organization Highlights. Hey Rams! Welcome back to another episode of Entertainment Minute. On this episode, we'll be talking about Jeopardy, the best part of November, and the Miss USA pageant. Let's get started. Starting off with some sad news, by now most of you have heard Jeopardy! host Alex Trebek has passed away last Sunday at the age of 80 after battling pancreatic cancer. After 36 years of hosting the show, it's hard to imagine Jeopardy! without him. His last 35 episodes will be aired in the coming weeks. In some good news, the Pancreatic Cancer Association Network has announced a 450% increase in web traffic and $55,000 in donations following Trebek's passing. Moving on to one of the best parts of this month, Black Friday. While well, this year is going to look a little different, the sales aren't going anywhere. To avoid large crowds on the 27th, most stores are having sales throughout November, which means they've already started. But don't worry, I'll give you the best deals to look out for. Starting off, AirPod Pros are on sale on Amazon for $194 as compared to on Apple for $249. The Carrot Cake Duo Coffee Maker is 20% off on Walmart and is now only $79. Stores like Nike and Adidas are having site-wide sales up to 40% off and you can't go wrong if you shop at Target which is having up to 50% sales on Christmas decor, kitchen appliances and much more. The Miss USA pageant took place last Monday after being delayed since spring. Coming out on top was Miss Mississippi who will now go on to represent the US at the Miss Universe pageant. But what makes this win extra special is that Asia Branch was the first black woman to be crowned Miss Mississippi and she is now the reigning Miss USA. Asia shared this historic moment with the teen pageant winner, Kilani Aruda, who was only the second Hawaiian woman to win the pageant. Congrats to both these amazing ladies. All right, that's it for this episode of Entertainment Minute. I'm gonna get started on my Black Friday shopping. I'll see you next time. Signing off, I'm Courtney Medwin. Greetings, fellow Golden Rams. Welcome to Jimmy's Actual Factuals. I am your host and moderator, Jimmy Johnson. This week's topic is least to most favorite media types. Which media types do you enjoy most of the time? Which media types do you somewhat enjoy? And which media types do you enjoy least of the time? Please let us know. Let's go. 
Hi, Jimmy. This is Cindy Pella from the College of Arts and Humanities Dean's Office, and here are my favorite forms of media for the actual factuals. For me, I love the radio. I love to listen to the radio while I'm working. I love to listen while I'm cooking, uh, while I'm in the car. Uh, I just music to me is my favorite form of media and I just like having it on and listening to it every day. It helps me relax and actually helps me to be focused on what I'm doing. Um, I really, I, I read the, the newspaper a lot and of course I love to read magazines and uh, probably social media. I think everyone's on social media more than we all should be. So I would put social media at the bottom of my list, but like I said, for me, the radio was my favorite form of media and uh, the others I use pretty much every day, And um, but I use them all as well. I really don't have any that I would say are my least favorite. I guess I could say I love all forms of media. I hope this helps and I hope you have a great time putting this article together. Bye-bye. Thank everybody for telling us their favorite media types, least to most. If you'd like to share your types of favorite media, post it at WCU Weekly on Instagram. And until next time, I am Jimmy Johnson. Enjoy your week. Hello, WCU. I'm Courtney Richards, and that concludes this week's episode. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of WCU Weekly as we get closer to Thanksgiving break. At WCU Weekly, we understand that this can be a difficult time for many students, and we just want to let you know that we are here for you. So please reach out to us via Instagram at WCU Weekly for more exciting news and updates throughout the semester. If you would also like to be involved in WCU Weekly or any other WCU Studios program, please send us an email at WCUStudiosClub at gmail.com. And one more thing, don't forget next week, week 14, is Thanksgiving break. So make sure to take a well-earned break from your Zoom classes. Until next week, I'm Courtney. Have a great week and Thanksgiving, Westchester.